A puzzle in theory, one not built on quackery, all seems to connect to one strange factory. The workers hard at work, but little they know, it's all gonna happen, it's all gonna blow. Winona, a worker in the midst of it all, was sheltered by another, though she was not the one enthralled. She had to go, she had to see, she had to go check on he. Bursting through a desperate plea, the boss man's hand she did grasp, though her efforts earned but half. Shocked at first, but not a soul could blame her, though Winona, never a shirk, got on right back to work. The wooden lever flipped, a new unknown world. But it wasn't a mysterious presence, it was a familiar girl. A hand was grasped, like the boss man you see. Only her attempt was met with foul sorcery. Plunged into darkness, into the deep unknown. Winona did it for love, something the creature had not shown. And all who remain can do nothing but moan. The factory ablaze, surely that is known, but the thought still creeps, Winona surely died alone. But as we know now, Winona was not one to die, but rather became subjected to a far worse fate among the other survivors within the constant forever in search of her long lost sister. What was once thought to be a rescue mission now appears to have begun with betrayal. But that being said, Winona has been hard at work since being dragged into the depths of hell, and she has some new toys for us to play with. But before we get to that, let's talk some old but new, shall we? Winona still boasts her handiwork as her increased crafting speed is still around, but something has changed. Her ability to speed craft now costs the player 5 hunger per item crafted, and that goes for just about everything. However, structures do work a little differently. With the creation of placeable structures, you don't lose the hunger upon crafting them, you lose it when you decide to place them down. And once again, this applies to most everything about. But, make note that, thankfully, structures like walls and fences don't translate the losses of hunger per each one placed, but just take it away upon crafting once. But something else has changed too. When hunger reaches 50 or below, Winona goes from being the speed racer of crafting to what might be the slowest crafting speed in the entire game. However, that hunger penalty for crafting does cease to be, so you cannot just work yourself to literal starvation, which is nice. And yes, it does apply to placing things as well. Which isn't so nice, as it is rather annoying watching and waiting for the dang animation to complete, knowing that at any other point, the process would have been finished already. But it ain't really that bad, considering certain aspects of Winona are still at play. Cause trust me, even with the slow crafting speeds, you will still be able to get a craft off before your sister comes to play, as you still get one free hit from her, remember? And that one freebie comes with not actually being damaged, which means no animation plays from being struck. Thus, no cancellation of a craft animation. So, yeah. Don't know if Clay thought this was going to be an issue, because, well, it isn't. But what about emergency weapon and armor crafts? There's no worries there either. But just bait out the attack, or run a distance away, and just get it done. There's no issue there. But Beard, the threshold for speed crafting is rather annoying to combat over and over again. Well, yes and no. As all one needs to do once you are tired of being a slowpoke is just stuff your face with but a single meatball and then you are back to being on meth. It's that simple. The only annoying bit is that yeah, doing it over and over again can be a pain, but not many people, especially beginners, are crafting at this capacity and speed, so it's not really a big deal. No, what else isn't a big deal? The fact that Winona's tape functions the exact same as before. So have fun repairing all your fancy dues so you can continue to look fabulous as you die horrible. Repeated deaths from just about everything around you. 
But on to the cool stuff. Winona's got herself a brand new bag, everyone. And it's the Engineering Tab. Within it, you'll find your trusty tape in its new home, along with four brand spanking new machines for our pleasure. Let's break them down. Winona's generator is first, and it uses one of her trusty tapes and but a couple logs and niter to create. Upon crafting one, we will get a similar radius to the fling that details just how much range of power that we can play with, and it appears on par with said fling as well. When you eventually do get around to placing it, the generator has a unique construction animation and it ultimately looks pretty neat with all its buzzing and whirling about. The generator starts at full fuel capacity, and it will take roughly 25 seconds to drop by 1% of fuel each time as long as it's not powering anything. But what exactly are we powering here? Well. One such thing is Winona's Spotlight, and you'll be using one tape, a cup of gold, and a firefly to craft one. So just get a bug net and go hunting for fireflies at night if you don't know where to get them. The Spotlight also has a radius detailing where the lights will or will not be, but you'll also notice that the generator's radius is turning green now too. And that showcases whether or not a machine is actually in the proper range in order to be powered. Upon placing the light, it will follow the player with no other input needed. And it has a somewhat decent range and radius to offer, but it really isn't mind-blowing. But here's something initially questionable. Even with but one spotlight powered, the 25 seconds for the generator to lose 1% of fuel drops all the way to only 5 seconds, a significant reduction in time there. And with 4 powered machines, that equals 1% fuel reduction per second, so you best have fuel on hand if you want to use these machines consistently. But what is the fuel for Winona's generator? Well, that would be niter, and each piece of it equals 50% fuel for the gen. Meaning keeping these up and running when you need them is, in the end, not actually going to be hard to do at all. However, I am a little concerned by the fact that having more than one spotlight doesn't really make any difference really. So, I just don't suggest putting more than one. Maybe even two per generator placement. But spotlights aren't the only new toys on the market. Let's talk Winona's catapults. Constructed using a piece of tape, three twigs, and 15 rocks, it may seem expensive, but in mid to late game, rocks are pouring out of your ears. The catapult definitely doesn't look like it belongs in Don't Starve, but that doesn't mean it doesn't look cool. And with 400 durability and the potential damage output of 43 per stone, it ain't too shabby. Also, it has a pretty neat swaying idle animation too. Just a heads up, it doesn't matter if it's the spotlight or catapult. The fuel usage is the exact same, so don't worry about using more if you decide to go full catapult routes. But speaking of going full catapults, are they any good? Well, considering I am only using three here, and each fire rather quickly while dealing 42.5 damage each, which is considerable knowing that it's almost on par with what you can dish out even, I'd say certainly are, as they helped me bring down clops in just over a minute. And in the end, I discovered something that I did not anticipate. The catapults actually have a self-repair mechanic. The machines will regenerate health at a rate of 8.3 HP every 10 seconds. Very nice. But again, are they worth it? Well, they are on the quote-unquote expensive side, but if you build an arena up bit by bit over time, then it's not really a problem. And considering that a full circle of them can help you close Clopsy's eye for good in less than 30 seconds, I'd say it's fair to give them a thought at least. But just a heads up, 
I thought I'd check to see if we could share the potential load among separate generators, but that is not the case. It all just depends on how many powered machines are in the specific radius of a single generator, and not a machine being in multiple ranges of gens. So, it means nothing really. But you know what does it mean nothing? Winona's intrepid generator. It not only appears bigger, it gives us bigger outputs as well. It takes roughly 2 minutes and 20 seconds for this thing to use but 1% of fuel when not powering anything. And that is far, far longer than the normal generator. That being said, like the normal generator, that time does drop significantly once something begins sucking power. And this time, it drops from well over 2 minutes to only about 30 seconds. I mean, really Clay? The generator isn't that expensive, but considering the fuel and the fact that it's supposed to be a tier 2 version of the generator, I'd feel like the efficiency should be a little better than that. Especially considering that fuel consumption drops to 1% used every 8 seconds with only 4 machines being powered. Oh, and by the way, it makes zero difference in what gems you use to power this thing as everything remains the same whether you socket the easily obtainable red and blue gems or the much rarer yellow and orange ones. It's the same, so just stick to the basics and don't waste your precious gems. But before we go, I thought we could take it to the extreme side. So I just let Klops have his way with me and watched his health melt away within seconds. Potentially even below 10 seconds here. That's just insane. But what about Berger? I'll tell you what, if I would have just had a weapon the whole time, he would have been dead so in probably 15 to 20 seconds. The point being, these things are viable. But I am afraid that they will be an afterthought in but a few weeks from now, especially the not-so-useful spotlight. But there you have it, everyone. What I could initially discover about the new reworked Winona, but I'm sure there will be more soon. I don't think I'm ready to make a complete judgment call yet, but time will tell. I will say, though, if we can expect more drastic changes and additions for all of these character reworks, don't Starve Together is going to soon be a whole new game. For now, take care everyone, have fun out there, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.